Barbecue Central show on L.A. Talk Radio. A very good election Tuesday. Super Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, Super Tuesday coming down at you. November 4th in the house picking presidents. But more importantly than that, and really, let's get right down to it. More importantly than that, uh, the Barbecue Central show will not be superseded by uh, some, uh, some mere election that takes place every four years. We're here every week. We're talking about what it's all about. Never mind these politics, these uh, bad economy and Republican and Democrat. Let me tell you something. In Ohio, there was one write-in candidate that made it to the ballot today, and that was me. I wrote me in because I can reach across party lines. I reach over here. I reach over there. We're bringing people together. We're bringing the people that cook on gas. We're bringing the people that cook on pellets and sticks and vertical smokers and horizontal smokers. Smokers up the wazoo. I'm your man. So if you haven't voted and you can't decide between a a Democrat or a Republican or the host of other people that made it on the ballot, I'm your man. Write me in and we can make a, a groundswell and then we can make the push into 2012, uh, I believe. Um, I will be doing barbecue tonight. I'm not turning this into a political show. I am tracking a news from MSNBC.com. And what I can give you right now is this. And I have no idea if this is accurate or not. This is the Internet for crying out loud. What can I tell you? is uh, we have uh, McCain at 70 electoral votes and Obama at 175, and that's all I can tell you about that. Hey, welcome to the Barbecue Central show, folks. I'm your host, Greg Rempe, and uh, I'm very happy that you've decided to pull up a chair tonight and join me. Got a great show lined up for you, so if you want to get in, if you know what you want to talk about, you've heard the show over the last number of weeks and you uh, have wanted to get in, but you haven't found the the uh, the gall, the guts, uh, any reason to call in except that this Tuesday you have, then uh, call in 216-220-0966. Or you can email the show at bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. Tell all your friends, uh, get your email client open and shoot off the link, latalkradio.com. Let them know the Barbecue Central show's on. Let them know that you're a centralite and you would like them to become centralites as well. This is how we grow the show. Of course, you can keep up with all the things important in the world of barbecue and grilling by going to the website, thebarbecuecentral.com. And if you've missed a show here on LA Talk Radio, never fear. Go to the homepage, latalkradio.com, and then click on the Barbecue Central show. A complete and full list of all of the archive shows that have taken place here. Also, Barbecue Central Show on iTunes. Uh, search me by the show name. Search me by uh, the author name, Greg Reppy. Either way you want to do it. So, 216-220-0966 or bbqcentralradio at gmail.com. Here's what's happening on the show tonight. Uh, next segment, I'll be joined by Rob Bagby. He also goes by the name Rub. If you know him in barbecue circles, you probably call him Rub. You don't know uh, Rob Bagby. Either way, I'll call him Rob. I'll call him Rub. It'll be wonderful. And we'll talk about uh, last week's competition. As uh, we all well know, if you tuned in last week, uh, we were talking about the upcoming event that just took past uh, that just took place this past weekend, which was the best of the best barbecue competition in Douglas, Georgia, which of course is housed inside the National Barbecue Festival. We had Cal Phelps on last week to talk about that. And uh, the Swamp Boys, who uh, the pit master of the Swamp Boys is, uh, is Rub, Bob, uh, Rob Bagby. He took third in the invite, and then he turned around and did the open portion uh, the following day and won the grand champion on that. So third in the invite, then he won the open at Best of the Best. So figured wouldn't be a bad idea to have him on, talk about the experience. Uh, he is uh, somebody that competes in the Florida Barbecue Association the majority of the time believe he is actually uh, winning the point standings in the FBA this year, uh, finally uh, relinquishing the uh, the torch that HomeBBQ.com has been taking on for the last five years. I believe uh, they were winning Team of the Year uh, five years running. Uh, that would be Kevin Bevington of HomeBBQ.com. Uh, so we'll have him on next segment. That's uh, Rob Bagby of Swamp Boys Barbecue. And then the following segment after that, uh, we'll have Fred Bernardo back on. He, uh, of course, is the proprietor of Fred's Music and BBQ. Uh, They have a new line of rubs and sauces that they're going to be flooding the market with. So we'll be talking to Fred about um, how he came up with his particular brand of rubs and sauces, uh, why he did it, 
uh, as we all know, we love rubs, we love sauces, and we want to be able to uh, inevitably. I mean, it's just the uh, it's just the entrepreneurial spirit of the barbecue is uh, once you have a rub nailed is uh, of course to to bring it to market. And uh, Fred has evidently hit that precipice in his business model and is now offering. Uh, I believe he's calling it tasty licks. Rub and sauces. So we'll get the whole inside information on that. And of course, if you have any questions about uh, any type of barbecue or grilling paraphernalia, a grill, especially the big green egg, as he is our resident <coughs> egg spurt, he'll be able to uh, answer all the questions for you on that. And uh, his website, of course, is Fred's Music and BBQ.com. So we'll be hooking up with him on the uh, third segment. Four segment free for all, wide open, uh, no interviews uh, at that point. Uh, scheduled at least uh, so you can call in a to win a two-pack of pd river swamp sauce graciously donated by the boys at pd river swamp sauce swamp sauce.com tim Patton and the fine folks down there and uh, we can basically talk about any number of things subsequently in that segment we're wide open so we have uh, we have nothing uh, nothing planned for the four segment free for all like we have in the past so that's what's happening tonight when we come back we'll have rob bagby of swamp boys barbecue sauce Fred Bernardo after that. Four-segment free-for-all for for PD River Swamp Sauce. What can I tell you? We're locked and loaded. Pull up a chair. Strap in for Fight Night Tuesday. Barbecue Central Show. Stand by. Scotty. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Show on L.A. Talk Radio. Get going from site to site to get all your barbecue and grilling supplies and make your first and final stop at Fred's Music and BBQ.com. In the market for a new barbecue pit, we have all the big name brands like Big Green Egg and more. As a matter of fact, Fred's is staffed by eggheads and carries every single part and accessory for the egg. More of a pellet head, you say? Then check out our full lineup of Traeger Smoker Grills. Fred also carries Pro Q Barbecue, Bradley, and Weber Smokers, as well as a full lineup of charcoal grills. And once you're outfitted with your new cooker or grill, you'll find absolutely everything you need to make your barbecue and grilling experience a success. Fred is a direct retailer of companies that sponsor the Barbecue Central show like Wolf Rub Barbecue Seasonings and the folks at the Barbecue Guru. But you can also get your hands on a full lineup of spices, rubs, and sauces to marinades, accessories, love charcoal, wood chips, pellets, chunks, and even the great grilling tools by Stephen Reichland of Barbecue Ufay. Check Fred out on the web at fredsmusicandbbq.com or check out their fully stocked showroom in beautiful downtown Chillington, Pennsylvania. The future of barbecue is already here at thebarbecueguru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy Knockdown Smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tallboy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose, like ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetables, smoked cheese, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. TheBarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a 3-Bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at TheBarbecueGuru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com. Or call 1-800-288-GURU. The Big Green Egg is the most unique barbecue and grilling product on the market with its unmatched capabilities and flexibility that surpass all other conventional cookers combined. It's a smoker, a grill, and an oven. You can literally cook any food on it year-round, from appetizers to entrees to desserts. The Big Green Egg lights fast, and it's ready to cook on within 10 minutes, and no need for that yucky lighter fluid. The ceramic walls retain heat with an accurate temperature control, so there are no hot spots. And since the top is down while you're cooking, there are no grease flare-ups. Its handsome, unique, and decorative design produces the juiciest and most succulent food you'll ever taste. And don't forget about the world-class customer service and the lifetime warranty that goes along with every unit. You can find out more about the Big Green Egg by visiting their website at BigGreenEgg.com. That's BigGreenEgg.com. The Big Green Egg, the most versatile and unique barbecue and grilling product on the market. This is Jennifer Paulinus from Shalote, North Carolina, and this is Barbecue Central. Now, let's get back to the Barbecue Central show on L.A. Talk Radio. Welcome 
back. Barbecue Central Show here on L.A. Talk Radio on your Tuesday evening. Appreciate you joining me tonight. Election night. Sure. I know you're interested in seeing who's uh, up in the uh, up in the standings. And I have that for you. 175 Obama, 76 McCain. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. All right. On to more uh, bigger and better things, as promised. Joining me right now is a pit ma- uh, is a is the pitmaster for Swamp Boys uh, barbecue team. You can find him at swampboys.com, and he was a third place finisher in the invitational portion of the best of the best barbecue competition, which took place in Douglas, Georgia, last week. And then he turned around the next day and won the whole damn thing in the overall uh, open portion. I am, of course, talking about Rob Bagby. Rob, thanks for taking the time out tonight. How are you? Hello. Hello? Hmm. (laughs) The hell just happened. Stand by. You know, these barbecue guys, it's it's very hard for them to catch on how the whole uh, interview process is supposed to actually happen. Hello? Rob. Yes. Greg Rempe, Barbecue Central, we're live. Hey, Greg, how are you? Not too bad. How are you? Real good, thanks. Just gave you a great introduction, went to you, and then the line was dead. So I apologize if that was on my end. <laughs> oh, sorry. I never heard it ring. That's all right. Rob, I uh, was just telling the folks how uh, you had just competed in Best of the Best competition this past weekend. You took a third in the invite, and then, uh, of course, you won the whole thing in the open portion the following day. Uh, so first, congratulations uh, on all the achievements uh, over the past weekend. And what I want to get from you kind of right off the bat is, you know, what's your, what was your, what's your feeling about best of the best competition and, and how did you find your performance to be overall? Um, well, first of all, I, <clears throat> pardon me, I really, I love the best of the best. Um, the, the contest that the, the Phelps have put together up there is just really neat. Um, they bend over backwards to make everybody feel welcome and, and comfortable there. And, um, I, I really enjoy the format, the way it pulls in um, uh, components from the different sanctioning bodies across the country, kind of puts everybody on a level playing field. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, you know, I I, uh, I naturally I, I put all my best meat, you know, I, I spent a lot of time into choosing my meat, and I put all what I thought was my best into the uh, invitational and uh, it just didn't it didn't work for me this time. But uh, I, I had a good rebound on the open, and um, I was just tickled pink about it. Now it, it's uh, it's unique in the fact. I mean, best of the best is the non-sanctioned competition. I had Cal Phelps on last week, kind of talking about you know how he goes through some of the other varying uh, sanctioning bodies to pull rules that they like out and kind of you know hodgepodge them together at best of the best. Uh, one being that they offer the cooks you know five options to choose, but you have to pick three meats to actually cook and turn in to be judged. Um, so what were the three meats that you decided to turn in of the five? Uh, for the for both contests, I, I did the same, and I chose uh, ribs, pork, and brisket. And you did uh, I mean, third place overall in the invite is actually uh, is very well, uh, is, is, is a very good uh, score as well. And then, of course, winning the open part. Looking at the invite and then the open, por- uh, open portion separately, do you feel that it's actually maybe a little bit harder to win the open portion versus the invitational because it, it is, you know, I, you know, if I wanted to drive down to Douglas from Cleveland and pay the entry fee, I could take a run at it. So it's almost kind of like a bigger crapshoot, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, I think to a degree. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not aware of any teams who cooked the invitational who did not stay to cook the open. So, uh, you know, and I know there were more teams. So in reality, it was probably the the same group plus some more um but that being said i don't know you know none of them are are any easier to win that's for sure and i I would hate to say that one's harder to win because um you know like i said i i spend a lot of time choosing my meats and you know at the butcher before i do anything and um i had what i thought were just the best and i i I put my um you know my best foot first into the invitational and um you know, it, it just didn't happen. So there's, I don't know, it, it's hard to say. There's, uh, you know, after the invitational, people kind of 
relax a little bit, and, and um, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Do you know if the same judges that do the Invitational are the same judges that then turn around and do the Open the following day? I, I don't know for a fact, but I would imagine that most of them are. But I, like I said, I don't know that right off the top of my head. But I'm, I'm, I know a lot who did do both. Now, are you, uh, you you compete primarily, let's say, in the Florida Barbecue Association events? Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah, and that's primarily because that's that's what's down here. Um, you know, whenever a KCBS contest comes up, I usually, if uh, if it works out and it's not conflicting with an FBA contest, I'll uh, go cook it. How many? Times I just have, like to cook a contest. Period. So, how many times have you actually competed in the uh, best of the best competition? Um, I think this is my, this was just my second year as my own team. I've gone up a year or two in years past and helped out cook up, help cook with other teams. Looking at FBA events, looking at the best of the best competition, is it, is it harder to cook in that type of an environment than it would be in a Florida Barbecue Association or a KCBS event? Um, <clears throat> It's it, in in some instances it is those boxes that they gave us are uh, they're they're strange size compared to what we use in the FBA and what KCBS uses instead of a nine by nine it's like a seven and a half by ten or I heard some people saying it was like the size of a suitcase <laughs> oh it was huge it was like uh, trying to fill up a football field with your product and <laughs> you know you really had to get creative and and um, you know the the rule is you must put seven, a minimum of seven pieces in. Well, if you put seven pieces of of anything in there, they're going to rattle around, you know, like a, a pill in a bottle, and it's just not going to look right. So you, um, gosh, I bet each box we turned in was probably close to five pounds. It seemed like. Did you feel that right. your that your invitational day was actually better than than the open day? Um, I thought, uh, I thought my. My ribs were definitely better, in my opinion, on my uh, invitational cook. Uh, I screwed up my brisket. I, I just way overcooked it, and I I got to the point where I was cutting it almost an inch thick, and I still couldn't pick it up. Um, so, I, uh, you know, that didn't go as well. I, I had to turn in my second string brisket there. but um, And the pork, I thought, was pretty comparable both days. So it was, I don't know, it was, I, I definitely didn't think I had better ribs the second day, but the judges did, and that's all that matters. Now, maybe for the people that aren't as familiar with Swamp Boys uh, barbecue team and with a couple minutes we have left, why don't you give us a little background about yourself and kind of how you fell into the whole uh, competition barbecue scene? Well, it um, kind of came about as an accident. Um, I'm a school teacher by trade, and uh, one of my duties at the time, this was probably five years ago, was to, uh, I was in charge of uh, a chicken fundraiser that we did every year. And we would sell chicken dinners for, I don't know, seven bucks or whatever. And we always went down and borrowed the cooker from the local bank and usually burned the chickens. And it was just a big, I don't want to say a fiasco, but it, it just wasn't a quality product. And uh, so I started looking into um, some different things and you know different barbecue stuff we could do and i went online and found out that there's a whole world of uh, competitive barbecue out there and got really interested in it and at the time um what was it it was uh i believe it was the lakeland pig fest was coming up or no actually before that it was the the fba fun cook was coming up and um the, the then president joby stanilan invited me to come and and hang out with his team for the weekend and i did and um gosh i just got hooked from that point on and it's been all fun and games since then i have an email question from a guy named bob who simply puts butt darts <laughs> i'm guessing that's an inside joke uh yeah that uh that was a game they were playing up in uh douglas georgia and um you, you may have heard this on some other commercial but what happens in douglas stays in douglas yeah, well, I guess we can leave it at that. <laughs> now, are you going to be at the uh, Pigs at the Park this coming weekend? I saw on your itinerary you either were going to be in Kissimmee or perhaps Alabama. Yeah, I've uh, I've decided to go up to Alabama. Um, I'm I'm going to try to cook as many of the um, the qualifying contests, you know, for the uh, American Royal Inject Annuals as I can. 
And um, unfortunately, the one here close to home is not a qualifier, but the Alabama one was. And um, I, I figure you can't win a qualifier if you don't cook a qualifier. So I'm going to make the trip up there. Rob Bagby is the pit master of Swamp Boys Barbecue Team. Rob, do you have a website set up uh, for the team that people can go and find out a little bit more about you? Yeah, I sure do. It's uh, www.swampboys.com. Easy enough. Rob, I appreciate you taking the time out tonight. Enjoy the conversation. Again, congratulations on all the accomplishments uh, this past weekend. Good luck this coming weekend. And, of course, I'll be having you on to talk about the Florida Barbecue Association when you take the helm next year. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you more. Okay, Rob. Take care. All right. Good night. Rob Bagby from Swamp Boys. Man, that's a a pretty uh, great achievement. Third in the invite, winning the overall. I I always think that winning uh, or winning the open, I always think an open competition has to be harder. Uh, I know you're cooking against the majority of the same teams you cooked the night before, but then you have all these other uh, people just kind of falling in because they can afford an entry fee, and you never know what's going to shake out uh, on those. So, hey, just my personal thoughts. What can I tell you? When we come back, we'll have Fred Bernardo from Fred's Music and BBQ to talk about his new lines of rubs and sauces. If you have any questions about your cooker, the big green egg, any ancillary accessories or whatever, he's the guy to talk to, so you can call in at 216-220-0966. Four-segment free-for-all after that for your chance to win a two-pack of Petey River Swamp Sauce. Stand by. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Show on L.A. Talk Radio. The future of barbecue is already here at thebarbecueguru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy Knockdown Smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tall Boy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose, like ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetables, smoked cheese, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. TheBarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a 3-Bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at TheBarbecueGuru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com. Or call 1-800-288-GURU. The Big Green Egg is the most unique barbecue and grilling product on the market with its unmatched capabilities and flexibility that surpass all other conventional cookers combined. It's a smoker, a grill, and an oven. You can literally cook any food on it year-round, from appetizers to entrees to desserts. The Big Green Egg lights fast, and it's ready to cook on within 10 minutes, and no need for that yucky lighter fluid. The ceramic walls retain heat with an accurate temperature control, so there are no hot spots. And since the top is down while you're cooking, there are no grease flare-ups. Its handsome, unique, and decorative design produces the juiciest and most succulent food you'll ever taste. And don't forget about the world-class customer service and the lifetime warranty that goes along with every unit. You can find out more about the Big Green Egg by visiting their website at biggreenegg.com. That's biggreenegg.com. The Big Green Egg, the most versatile and unique barbecue and grilling product on the market. Forget going from site to site to get all your barbecue and grilling supplies and make your first and final stop at fredsmusicandbbq.com. In the market for a new barbecue pit, we have all the big name brands like Big Green Egg and more. As a matter of fact, Fred's is staffed by eggheads and carries every single part and accessory for the egg. More of a pellet head, you say? Then check out our full lineup of Traeger Smoker Grills. Fred also carries Pro Q Barbecue, Bradley, and Weber Smokers, as well as a full lineup of charcoal grills. And once you're outfitted with your new cooker or grill, you'll find absolutely everything you need to make your barbecue and grilling experience a success. Fred is a direct retailer of companies that sponsor the Barbecue Central show like Wolf Rub Barbecue Seasonings and the folks at the Barbecue Guru. But you can also get your hands on a full lineup of spices, rubs, and sauces, to marinades, accessories, love charcoal, wood chips, pellets, chunks, and even the great grilling tools by Stephen Reichland of Barbecue Ufe. Check Fred out on the web at fredsmusicandbbq.com or check out their fully stocked showroom in beautiful downtown Chillington, Pennsylvania. Hey, this is Helen Paradise from SoCal, and you are listening to the Barbecue Central Show. Now, let's get back to the Barbecue Central Show on L.A. Talk Radio.
Barbecue Central Show on LA Talk Radio on your Tuesday evening election night. 2008, coming at you. Uh, I don't have any updated numbers, so uh, tune into your favorite internet station to find all that stuff out if you're so inclined. Chatter on the uh, on the instant feedback form saying I look 10 years younger. <laughs> that I look, I'm not that old. I'm only 34, for Christ's sake. Anyway, uh, joining me now is promised, uh, proprietor of Fred's Music and BBQ in beautiful Shillington, Pennsylvania, Fred Bernardo. Fred, thanks for coming on uh, during this very busy night of elections uh, to talk barbecue with us. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, hi, Greg. Yeah, pretty interesting night, isn't it? Uh, you're probably in a uh, one of the biggest states that has been decided, that being Pennsylvania, going towards uh, Barack Obama. Uh, that's, that's the way it looks, and uh, that's a key state, so... I think that's pretty much going to tell the tune of the election. Well, we it's like we're both joined. You're, you're a key state. Of course, Ohio, uh, the saying always goes that the, the White House runs through Ohio, so we'll see how that folds out during the course of the evening. But, you know, who cares about any of that? Let's talk about barbecues. That's what's really important these days. Absolutely. I agree completely. Now, uh, of course, you can be found at Fred's Music and BBQ.com where you're selling, uh, you know, grills and uh, accessory items, a big green egg, of course. Uh, and, and some other uh, different kinds of cookers and, and uh, other units to uh, fashion food with outdoors. But uh, a lot of people love rubs. A lot of people make rubs at home. And then, of course, uh, once they've got everything nailed down, the, the next logical thing or the next thing they look to do is bring stuff to market, which is something that you've actually done with your line of uh, with your new line of rubs and sauces that's called uh, – what, what is the name of your uh, rubs and sauce line? Tasty Licks barbecue products. <laughs> Tasty Licks, because you guys are also musicians and guitar players over there. That's right, and we, you know, uh, my uh, music store. I had a, my own line of guitar strings for the last thirty years, and one of our mottos was "Good strings make tasty licks." <laughs> so the people in my area are familiar. There's thousands of T-shirts that say "Tasty Licks" on them. Uh, you know, I see them every day of the week with people wearing them uh, through the years. But we've given out so many and. Uh, just kind of stuck, and uh, you know, works good for uh, my rubs, which I've been uh, working on for quite a while. I was gonna say, so you've probably been, been developing these at home, refining them, honing them, and now you have something that you want to take to market. What makes you make this leap into you know liking them at home and now wanting them to share with others? Well, you know, uh, it, it, the way it starts out, I think, Greg, is you know, you cook for you're for friends, and I'm I'm always cooking for for customers. Uh, you know, we cook at the store three or four days a week, and. Uh, there's a lot of uh, sampling going on in, in my life, and you know, certain ones people just are always saying, you know, can I, how can I get some of that? And uh, after you hear that enough times, it just gives me the motivation to. Uh, I finally sat down and, you know, weighed and measured everything uh, to a fine detail so it could be duplicated, and uh, set myself up in a little manufacturing operation to make my own products. So you're not actually using uh, what some would refer to as a company packer. Nope. No, I uh, I bought the equipment and. Uh, I, I want complete control. I don't like handling handing control. Now this is on rubs, on sauces. I am using a, you know, a bottling company because uh, just too much involved with that. But for all the rubs and seasonings, uh, I do everything myself. Now on the rub side, uh, we'll get in the sauce here in a second. Uh, what kind of offerings uh, are made available to the potential consumer, and how do your rubs kind of stand apart from you know all the other rubs that are out there? Well, you know, I think it's really kind of hard to to stand apart from all the other rubs. There's so many of them. You're, the way I see it, you're gonna you're gonna fall in there probably with the rest of them. Uh, all, all I know is, again, I I have complete control, so I know exactly what's going into every bottle. Uh, using another another company, uh, I did consider it, but I just thought I'll never know uh, exactly what's in there. And you know, you can taste test and things, but th- this way I know what's happening. But I have I have uh, eight or nine currently on the market, and uh, you know, a few more to follow, but I haven't been able to get them exactly where I want them yet. And uh, th- that's pretty much about it. I started with my original rub, which is sort of a sweet, uh, little bit sweet, little bit tangy. Uh, started as a pork rub, but and and it was going to be bottled as a, as a rub for pork. But uh, people just kept telling me they liked it so much on chicken, and they put it on you know popcorn and everything else that uh, I just it's my original smoking guitar player uh, barbecue rub. And I started from there and branched out. So you have eight or nine actual rubs in, in differentiation to offer to people to buy? Yeah. Yep. Currently oh. we have nine on the market, and I have two more I'm, I've been working on for quite a while, but I just don't have them exactly. You know, 
as this goes with taste testing, I, I got to tell you, I've eaten a lot of chicken breast in the last uh, three months <laughs> because I tend to test these things on chicken breast. And, uh, you know, you, you get a new idea and uh, you try something a little different and it leads you in a different direction and, you know, uh, things just kind of go in circles sometimes. So I was quite sure on the first six I, I had been using all of those for years. And, uh, you know, I've kind of branched a few of those off. So a little, little more heat in some of them, a little less heat in some. I have a Creole rub and, uh, you know, a, a, a sort of a lemony, uh, a t- a lemony one. I have one just for brisket, those kind of things. Now, obviously, you're very entrepreneurial. So when you're devising these rubs, I mean, are you taste testing these out to, you know, the masses that are coming in and out of the store or as you're holding kind of like cooking demos and stuff with the Big Green Egg? Yep, that's the way it's been working. My, my friends, relatives, and customers are my guinea pigs. As a matter of fact, I had the whole family here uh, over the weekend, and they were guinea pigs for another one. I cooked for my whole family, uh, uh, the kids, the in-laws, the whole bit, and, uh, you know, that's how it works. And, and again, we're, we're ta- having tastings at the store, uh, you know, all the time. So, you know, it, it, that's just where, where my guinea pigs, I guess you could say, are. Now, obviously, a very good compliment to any rub is a sauce. So let's kind of switch gears over to the sauce aspect. How do you devise uh, your sauces? How many offering, and you know what are they to be used on? Well, you know, I have I have three basic sauces right now, and you know the sauces are a little funny. You know, you you start with a recipe that you like that maybe you've been using and making yourself, and then when you get to the bottling stage, you know there, there's things that have to be changed uh, for them to bottle properly and get to the right pH and things. So it's it's a little bit of a of a weird. It, it's harder. I, I think it's harder. And uh, so, I, so I cut it down to just, just three basic ones. One's a sort of a smoky hickory. Uh, one has a, a, is, a, is an apple-flavored uh, barbecue sauce, but it, it actually almost tastes I – I used to call it apple pie because it tastes more like apple pie than like fresh apples. And then I have one that's a, a little hotter. So I'm just keeping it to those three for now. And then we have some sauces and a few other things. And these are all, uh, would you say they're thicker, more of the Kansas City style of barbecue sauce? Yeah, all three sauces are kind of the, you know, the, the, the tomato-y based uh, type mm-hmm. of thing. The one, of course, has, as I say, has the apple, you know, a sort of an apple pie. I call it apple pie, you know, but uh, it's an apple flavor. The other two, I, I would say they're, they're quite traditional. They're not the real thick, sweet, gooey stuff that a lot of people like right now. And I have been working on, on some of those, but uh, I started with these more traditional ones. Uh, just to sort of get them to market and have some some sauces that, you know there and available, you know. But uh, I think I think the if I'm correct, I think the the thick, swick, sweet, really gooey uh, things seem to be really uh, popular right now. Oh, I agree with that. Uh-huh. Anything else yeah. happening at the uh, at the store or online that the listeners need to know about to take advantage of? Well, I, you know, I'm you know it's turkey season and I have. Uh, uh, for anybody that's anywhere near us here in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania, this Saturday I have a big, uh, a big deal going. I have uh, Mad Max Beyond Egg Dumb, one of the uh, very popular posters on the Big Green Egg forums, coming up from Virginia to cook a turkey and show us his turkey uh, deal and demonstrate for the people. And we'll be cooking turkeys in front of the store all day long, live radio, remote, you know, maybe a little band. Who knows what I'll do yet? You know, we'll have some hoopla. So that's going on. That's a big thing because, you know, cooking your turkey on your grill is becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. And every year I I have a surge in business of things like turkey stands and, you know, V-racks, roast racks and those type of things. And and business has been coming on pretty good, you know, in spite of the economy. And for people, I'm sorry, and for people that are looking to give you more business, give us a website where they can hook you up at. It's www.threadsmusicandbbq, that's A-N-D-B-B-Q dot com. You can find everything right there. Fred Bernardo, Fred's Music and BBQ.com. Fred, always appreciate the uh, conversation. Good luck with the uh, rubs and sauces. And, uh, cool, Greg. I'll have to Thanks, buy man. some to, uh, to check those out. I'll give you the feedback, and, and uh, we'll hook those links up on the forum as well. Uh, again, it's Fred's Music and BBQ.com. Fred, we'll talk to you soon. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Fred Bernardo of Fred's Music and BBQ.com. New line of rubs and sauces out. So if you're uh, a rub fanatic and a sauce fanatic, like pretty much all of us Q and grill heads are, you want to hook them up at fredsmusicandbbq.com. Of course, you can uh, go ahead and click on the banner that he has on the forum if you're a member of the Barbecue Central Forum, and uh, you'll be taken right there. When we come back, four-segment free-for-all for your chance to win a two-pack of Petey River Swamp Sauce. Soft sauce and more sauce, but this is stuff we're actually giving away. 
So stand by for that. You're listening to the Barbecue Central Show here on L.A. Talk Radio. The Big Green Egg is the most unique barbecue and grilling product on the market with its unmatched capabilities and flexibility that surpass all other conventional cookers combined. It's a smoker, a grill, and an oven. You can literally cook any food on it year-round, from appetizers to entrees to desserts. The Big Green Egg lights fast, and it's ready to cook on within 10 minutes, and no need for that yucky lighter fluid. The ceramic walls retain heat with an accurate temperature control, so there are no hot spots. And since the top is down while you're cooking, there are no grease flare-ups. Its handsome, unique, and decorative design produces the juiciest and most succulent food you'll ever taste. And don't forget about the world-class customer service and the lifetime warranty that goes along with every unit. You can find out more about the Big Green Egg by visiting their website at BigGreenEgg.com. That's BigGreenEgg.com. The Big Green Egg, the most versatile and unique barbecue and grilling product on the market. Forget going from site to site to get all your barbecue and grilling supplies and make your first and final stop at Fred's Music and BBQ.com. In the market for a new barbecue pit, we have all the big name brands like Big Green Egg and more. As a matter of fact, Fred's is staffed by eggheads and carries every single part and accessory for the egg. More of a pellet head, you say? Then check out our full lineup of Traeger Smoker Grills. Fred also carries Pro Q Barbecue, Bradley, and Weber Smokers, as well as a full lineup of charcoal grills. And once you're outfitted with your new cooker or grill, you'll find absolutely everything you need to make your barbecue and grilling experience a success. Fred is a direct retailer of companies that sponsor the Barbecue Central show like Wolf Rub Barbecue Seasonings and the folks at the Barbecue Guru. But you can also get your hands on a full lineup of spices, rubs, and sauces to marinades, accessories, love charcoal, wood chips, pellets, chunks, and even the great grilling tool by Stephen Reichland of Barbecue U fame. Check Fred out on the web at fredsmusicandbbq.com or check out their fully stocked showroom in beautiful downtown Chillington, Pennsylvania. The future of barbecue is already here at thebarbecueguru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy knockdown smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tallboy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose, like ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetables, smoked cheese, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. TheBarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a 3-Bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at TheBarbecueGuru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com. Or call 1-800-288-GURU. Previously on the Barbecue Central Show. Barbecue Central Radio, name and where you're calling from. Please, please, we'll be quiet. We're on again. Hi, Greg. This is Dan from Wachula. Hey, Dan. What's up? Oh, I don't, what's up? What kind of question is that? What do you mean? I'm calling in to talk about that gentleman that just called that Walter from wherever that place was in New York. Walt from Wilton. What is he talking about? He's cooking horses? That's a, is that, is that's... that some kind of... Anyway, I'm not so disturbed about that, but I'm really excited about this guy, Billy Bones. Why, why are you excited about Billy Bones? Well, just think about it. Um, he had this whole thing about the rubbing, and and I don't want to get started because I know you'll hit that button. Don't hit that button. Come on. What are you talking about? It's the Barbecue Central Show on L.A. Talk Radio. Two one six two two zero zero nine six six is the number to call to win a two pack of uh, PD River Swamp Sauce. If you're so inclined to jump in for the four segment free for all, well, looky here, we're right at it. Barbecue Central Show. Name and where you're calling from. David from New Jersey. David, how are you? I'm doing good. But you know, if I knew you were going to be on the ballot, Grant, I would have voted for you here in New Jersey. <laughs> well, to be honest, David. Uh, I didn't really know I was going to be on the ballot until I reviewed the entire list and realized that I really would be the better candidate. Okay, a stick burner on the lawn of the White House? <laughs> at least at least five of varying makes okay. and models. 
stick burners, spice wine smokers, stump smokers. I'm not going to discriminate over smoker lines. I'm going to reach across smoker lines and bring everybody together. Fast eddies, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, you're the man. What can I do for you tonight, David? I, well, I just called because uh, NPR just called Ohio for Obama. Well, so I've, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm celebrating. I've, I've, been, uh, I've been looking at that, um, you know, pretty much through the night. Of course, uh, being in Ohio myself, uh, we knew that the state had a propensity of leaning that way. And if they're calling it, then uh, what can I tell you? That's, uh, that's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. Well, you can send me some sauce. All right. So you want the sauce? I want the sauce. You know what that means? That means we got a uh, a winner, and I can't find the uh, I can't find the friggin' sound bed that uh, I need to use for that. No, that's not it. Where the hell is this thing? Uh, well, anyway, here's what you want to do. Go ahead and shoot me your uh, by email. Go ahead and uh, give me your shipping address. I'll send that down to Tim Patton at Petey River Swamp Sauce, and uh, he will go ahead and ship that off. You should have it by the weekend. I mean, typically he ships out Thursdays, so you should be all good by the weekend. And then, of course, you got to let me know what you think about it. Thank you very much. All right, David, take care. Bye. David, New Jersey. Here it is. Oh, damn it. That's what I wanted. Anyway. Congratulations to David from New Jersey, A, for calling in and saying that uh, Ohio was called for Obama. And uh, more importantly, of course, uh, that he gets a two-pack of uh, P.D. River Swamp Sauce. Because really, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what it's all about, is, is the Swamp Sauce. So if you have any thoughts, uh, we have about uh, one minute left. Uh, thoughts about the show, thoughts about uh, competitions that have taken place here over the past uh, couple weeks, uh, so on. And, uh, you know, I promised myself I wasn't going to say so on and so forth, but, but I didn't do very good right there. So uh, we go right to the phones. Last caller, Barbecue Central Show, name and where you're calling from. Calling from Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama. Name? Yes, sir. Phil White. Hi, Phil. How are you? Doing good. How about yourself? Not too bad. What can I do for you tonight? Uh, it's calling about that sauce. Oh, David in New Jersey just won it. Just won it. Well, that's uh, hey. I'll call back some other time. Hey, it was good to see Rub this weekend. We was down with them. Uh, big kudos, big kudos to him. Now, that is quite an accomplishment uh, to finish third in an invite, then turn around and then win the Open. Uh, am I the only one that thinks that the Open portion is really kind of more of a crapshoot? And it, 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 I'm not going to say it's harder to win the Open, but it, it's almost kind of a little bit more impressive because you guys, you have guys coming kind of just rolling right out of the backyard, throwing their hat into the competition ring. I don't know. It's uh, still white. Turn your speakers down. You're gonna you're gonna get uh you're gonna get crazy going. Uh, turn your speakers down. You'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, you know, it, I, this was my first time going down. I'm first time competitor this year, uh, and proud to say we did finish tenth overall and got invited to come and cook the invitation next year. So next year I'll be able to give you a better uh, as competing both days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard everybody talking about the the challenge of, com- of cooking. Uh, back to back days, uh, so we'll experience that next year. Got to be, uh, got to be grueling. But congratulations on your uh, top ten finish, and uh, continue to tune in uh, next week. You could win the sauce. I listen to you every week, bud. I appreciate it. Take care. Yep. Huntsville, Alabama, representing. Doesn't get any better than that. New Jersey. I'm in Ohio. This guy from Germany two weeks ago said he listens to the show. Awesome. That's what we're all about. We're bringing people together. Forget about the election. Forget about it. Let me give you uh, my current status, uh, as MSNBC has for me before we leave. Thank you, Phil, for calling in. I appreciate that. We have... 200 electoral votes to Obama, needing 270 to win, 90 for McCain. And yes, Ohio was called for uh, Obama. So that's what we got tonight. That's going to do it. Thanks to all the callers and the emailers. Thanks to the Barbecue Central crew, that being my man Sam Hassan in Southern California, Los Angeles to be exact. Hey, don't forget to uh, perhaps stay tuned right here on LA Talk Radio for broad topics coming up after me at 10 p.m. Eastern. 
with Laura, Joan, Kelly, and Jillian. They're going to be talking about how to make the world a better place. Oh, I'm all warm and fuzzy inside. Listen to them. They're good. Four chicks, bottle of Merlot. Who knows what the hell can happen at that point? Where are the webcams at, Sam? Where are the webcams? We'll see you back here next Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Barbecue Central Show. This is your program host, Greg Rempe. Good night now. from site to site to get all your barbecue and grilling supplies and make your first and final stop at Fred's Music and BBQ.com. In the market for a new barbecue pit, we have all the big name brands like Big Green Egg and more. As a matter of fact, Fred's is staffed by eggheads and carries every single part and accessory for the egg. More of a pellet head, you say? Then check out our full lineup of Traeger Smoker Grills. Fred also carries Pro-Q Barbecue, Bradley, and Weber Smokers, as well as a full lineup of charcoal grills. And once you're outfitted with your new cooker or grill, you'll find absolutely everything you need to make your barbecue and and grilling experience a success. Fred is a direct retailer of companies that sponsor the Barbecue Central show, like Wolfra Barbecue Seasonings and the folks at the Barbecue Guru. But you can also get your hands on a full lineup of spices, rubs, and sauces to marinades, accessories, love charcoal, wood chips, pellets, chunks, and even the great grilling tool by Stephen Reichland of Barbecue Ufane. Check Fred out on the web at fredsmusicandbbq.com or check out their fully stocked showroom in beautiful downtown Chillington, Pennsylvania. The future of barbecue is already here at thebarbecueguru.com. From the amazing guru that monitors and controls the temperatures of any charcoal, wood, or electric pit to the Caldera Tallboy Knockdown Smoker. Yes, it breaks down and stores flat, yet it's still a robust, sturdy, portable cooker and smokehouse. It also serves as an efficient temperature-controlled convection oven using wood or charcoal. The Tallboy is designed to fit all catering pans and can be used as a warming oven. You can cook in any style you choose. Make ribs, chicken, jerky, vegetables, smoked cheese, whatever you want. Take it to KCBS competitions and unload it from the truck of your car. The BarbecueGuru.com is where you'll find the Caldera 3-Bay Caterer. It's stainless steel and uses charcoal or sterno for chafing purposes. And it doubles as a 3-Bay sink or wash station with hot water and knocks down in seconds with no tools required for transportation and storage. The future of barbecue is here at the BarbecueGuru.com. That's www.thebbqguru.com. Or call 1-800-288-GURU. The Big Green Egg is the most unique barbecue and grilling product on the market with its unmatched capabilities and flexibility that surpass all other conventional cookers combined. It's a smoker, a grill, and an oven. You can literally cook any food on it year-round, from appetizers to entrees to desserts. The Big Green Egg lights fast, and it's ready to cook on within 10 minutes, and no need for that yucky lighter fluid. The ceramic walls retain heat with an accurate temperature control, so there are no hot spots. And since the top is down while you're cooking, there are no grease flare-ups. Its handsome, unique, and decorative design produces the juiciest and most succulent food you'll ever taste. And don't forget about the world-class customer service and the lifetime warranty that goes along with every unit. You can find out more about the Big Green Egg by visiting their website at BigGreenEgg.com. That's BigGreenEgg.com. The Big Green Egg, the most versatile and unique barbecue and grilling product on the market.